about slag fraction with similar or the same denominator? Ang tutorial na to ay para sa iyo and we will explain it in Filipino para maintindihan talaga natin. Hello everyone, this is Cindy again from Cindy the Thrifty. So ngayon meron na naman tayong bagong tutorial at yan ay kung paano mag-add ng fraction na merong parehong denominator or merong similar na denominator. Without further ado, let's do it very quick. Kasi nga ito yung pinakamadali. So, bilisan lang natin ang ating explanation. So, first, we have an example of 3 fourth plus 2 fourth. Okay, so, 3 fourth plus 2 fourth. First, ang unang-unang gagawin natin is dapat magkapareho yung kanilang denominator para maka-add tayo. So, since we are adding with the same denominator, ang gagawin natin is kokopyahin lang natin ang kanyang denominator tapos pwede na tayong mag-add. So, ganun lang po kadali ang adding of fractions with the same denominator. So, kopyahin lang natin si denominator which is 4. Sorry for the light. And then, i-add natin ang numerator. So, 3 plus 2. 3 plus 2 equals... Kopyahin natin ulit ang denominator, 4, and 3 plus 2 equals 5. Ayan. So, 3 fourth plus 2 4 equals 5 over 4. Ito na ba yung final answer natin? Of course, hindi pa. Kasi dapat lahat ng answer natin is naka-reduce into lowest term. And take note, ang numerator natin is mas malaki kaysa ating denominator. So, hindi po pwede yon kasi improper fraction po ito. So, ang gagawin natin is i-divide natin si 5 sa 4. So, 5 divided by 4. So, 5 divided by 4 equals 1. 1 times 4 equals 4. 5 minus 4 equals 1. So, ang ating sagot sa 3, 4 plus 2, 4 equals, ito ang ating whole number, tapos ito yung ating numerator, and ito yung ating denominator. So, ang sagot is equal to 1 and 1 fourth. 1 and 1 fourth. So, 3, 4 plus 2, 4 is equal to 1 and 1 fourth. So, let's have another example. This is 3 eighths plus 5 eighths. So, gaya ng sabi ko, kopyahin lang natin ang kanyang denominator, which is 8 rather. So, ang kanyang denominator, kopyahin lang natin, 8. Tapos, i-add natin ang numerator, 3 plus 5 equals, kopyahin ulit natin ang denominator na 8, pagkatapos 3 plus 5 equals 8. Yan na ba yung sagot natin 8 over 8? Of course, kasi nga dapat natin i-reduce into lowest term. So, ang gagawin natin 8 divided by 8 is equal to 1. So, ang ating sagot ay 1. 3, 8 plus 5, 8 equals 1. Another example, 7 over 28 plus 5 over 28. So, again, kopyahin natin ang kanyang denominator which is 28. Tapos, i-add natin ang numerator niya which is 7 plus 5. 7 plus 5 equals, kopyahin ulit natin ang denominator, which is 28. And, 7 plus 5 equals 12. So, 7 over 28 plus 5 over 28 is equal to 12 over 28. Yan na ba yung final answer natin? Of course, hindi pa kasi kailangan nga natin i-reduce into lowest term. So, kailangan natin maghanap ng number na pwedeng ma-divide kay 12 and pwede rin ma-divide kay 28. So, ano yung pwedeng ma-divide kay 12 and pwede rin ma-divide kay 28? Yes, 4. So, 12 pwede ma-divide kay 4 and 28 pwede ma-divide kay 4. So, 12 divided by 4 and 28 divided by 4 is equal to... 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3. Over 28 divided by 4 is equal to... 7. So, 7 over 28 plus 5 over 28 is equal to 3 over 7. So, ito na yung final answer natin. 
O di ba gaya nga nagsabi ko, napakadali lang mag-add ng fraction kapag meron silang parehong denominator. Sana ay may naintindihan tayo sa ating tutorial ngayon. And hintayin nyo po ang ating tutorial which is adding a fraction with dissimilar or different denominator. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like this video and share this video to your classmates and friends. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And we also have our... Facebook page that is Cindy the Trifty. Please like and follow us on Facebook. Thanks for watching. Bye!